Beans and lentils are both members of the common bean family or the Fabaceae genus of plant, which is the legume family. So I guess the question is better phrased, what is the healthiest legume we can eat? Pause the video and put your guess in the comments. So they're all good. And so the answer to the, these kind of questions are whichever bean you'll eat the most of. There's so little difference between them that it's the one that you're actually going to enjoy. But if you were really agnostic, like really didn't matter which kind of bean you were going to put in whatever dish, and you're like, well, I just want the best bean, probably there are these little dark, what are called beluga lentils, because they kind of look like caviar. They're really small black lentils that probably has the most bang for your buck in terms of nutrition and the bonus they cook super easily like you can just boil them like pasta you don't have to pre-cook them or cook them for hours or stuff so yeah that would probably be my legume pick but it doesn't matter what kind of longevity region you live in they're all surrounding um, their diet around a plant protein source, some kind of legume, whether it's black beans in Costa Rica or white beans in the Mediterranean or soy foods in Okinawa. And so pick a bean you love. Keep exploring until you find some you love. OK, let's look at these little powerhouses of nutrition. Black lentils, otherwise known as beluga lentils, get their deep, dark colour from high concentrations of anthocyanins which are the same antioxidants found in blue and purple fruits like blueberries, cherries, plums, etc. This is exciting because blueberries are probably one of the healthiest foods we can eat. And we know that anthocyanins are potent compounds that are continuously being investigated for their memory-boosting and cancer-fighting properties. Black beluga lentils, which earn their name because they resemble caviar, are rich in protein and fibre, with just half a cup of cooked black lentils containing around 12 grams of protein and 9 grams of fibre, which helps to keep us full and energised. And what's great is they don't need pre-soaking, and they cook relatively quickly, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. For those in the UK, I've just discovered that Biona do BPA-free canned beluga lentils, which is awesome, although I think there is added salt, sadly. But on the days you can't cook your own lentils, it's a really great, convenient way of getting your daily anthocyanin intake, as long as you don't have high blood pressure. For those in the US, drop a comment with a link if you're able to find salt-free canned beluga lentils. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.